Sarah, hello, and welcome to the Art and Design School in the High School of Economics. This year, we are the first time making it a separate section in art and design. Do you think it's important? And if yes, why? It's tremendously important that there should be a separate art and design conference because I have actually read the program of the other conference. It's overwhelmingly huge. It's highly scientific, using that word with all the inverted commas that scientific needs. And we know, as students of the humanities, that we have a different perception and take on the world, which is not any less scientific, but we understand how images and representations work in the world at the highest and the lowest levels. We've been to a marvellous paper this morning about Babushka, from the Babushka to the dome of St. Basilic's Cathedral. We need people who can understand not only artistic epiphenomena, but understand how the world works as a world of representation. Uh, your work and your life is very much connected with Russia and Russian art. And today you made a brilliant uh, presentation. What uh, can you say about uh, your uh, work now? What is uh, the sphere of interest of your work now? Um, at this very moment, my work is even more affected by the contemporary political climate. My previous work to do with the School of Paris uh, covered the first, and if you like, the second School of Paris, the first School of Paris being created through war loss in the First World War, when all the people from Eastern Europe and Russia, including art dealers and artists and writers, came to Paris, also from Eastern Europe, of course, their complete extinction during the Second World War, and then the uh, rebirth of Paris as an intellectual capital. And because that meant always Franco-Russian relations, and then my relationship with Russia and Russian contemporary art, and also the pleasure of working with Russian students became more intense. But always one was working from a position of, if you like, British neutrality. And as the world is aware... British neutrality no longer exists. We're a very, in such a short space of time, a fractured and divided country which echoes fractures and divisions in other countries from super states like America and Russia to the case of Hungary or the case of Poland. I was talking about Serge Chakotin who wrote this important book called The Rape of Crowds by uh, Propaganda published in 1939 in Paris on the eve of the Second World War, then republished in the moment of the Algerian conflict in France, and only published in Russia in 2016. It's extremely topical, because history is not just one long progression, but a series of horrible reprises, and people do not learn from their mistakes, as we know. So this is another reason why humanities study is important, because we have the examples of history repeating itself and uh, people being able to use historical arguments and debates uh, as part of discussing problems in the present. So while I always use contemporary art in my presentations, we looked at the case of two Polish artists dealing with fascist crowds, one male artist, one female artist, both exhibiting in London in 2017. So it's completely contemporary. Um, the lessons are very, very deep lessons, and they're also working with our own cultural pasts all the time.